Copyright 2018. Walters Kluwer. Chapter 11. Nursing Care Related to Assessment of a Pregnant Family. Reasons for Assessment. Establish Baseline of Present Health. Determine Gestational Age of Fetus. Monitor Fetal Development and Maternal Well-Being. Identify Women at Risk for Complications. Minimize risk of possible complications by anticipating and preventing problems before they occur, and provide education about pregnancy, lactation, and newborn care. These are the first prenatal health assessment. Terms related to pregnancy status includes PARA, is the number of pregnancies that have reached viability, regardless of whatever the infant were born alive. Gravita a pregnant woman often used with a number to indicate the number of pregnancies a woman has had. Prima gravita, a woman who is or has been pregnant, prima para, a woman who has given birth to on child past age of viability. Multigravita, a woman who has been pregnant previously. Grand multipara, a woman who has carried five or more pregnancies to viability. Multipara, a woman who has carried two or more pregnancies to viability and nulla gravita, a woman who has never been and is not currently pregnant. Preconceptual visit is an accurate reproductive life planning information. Assurance about fertility based on health history and physical examination. Identification of any problems needing correction. Hemoglobin level and blood type determined. Pap smear taken. When choosing a health care provider, it is a must to Provides care throughout pregnancy and birth Initiate prenatal care early Nurses role Educate Listen Counsel Typical day and social history for a pregnant patient, nutrition Exercise Hobbies Tobacco, alcohol, and drug consumption Medication and herbal therapy Intimate partner violence. Review the table on typical assessment for a first pregnancy visit. Also review the nursing care palming to empower a family. 2020 National Health Goals Related to Prenatal Care. Increase the proportion of pregnant women who receive early and adequate prenatal care from a baseline of 70.5% to a target of 77.6%. Increase the proportion of pregnant women who attend a series of prepared childbirth classes, developmental. Increase the proportion of mothers who achieve a recommended weight gain during their pregnancies. Increase the proportion of women delivering a live birth who received preconception care services and practiced key recommended preconception health behaviors, developmental. Increase the proportion of women of childbearing potential who have an intake of at least 400 mg of folic acid from fortified foods or dietary supplements before pregnancy from a baseline of 23.8% to a target level of 26.2%. Include support people. Assessing health status during pregnancy. Suggestions to individuals prenatal care Baseline height slash weight, vital sign measurement Body systems General appearance and mental status Head and scalp Eyes Nose and sinuses Ears Mouth, teeth, and throat Body systems health status assessment includes Neck Lymph nodes Breasts, heart, lungs, back, rectum, extremities and skin. Obtain weight. Fundal height and fetal heart sounds. Pelvic exam. External genitalia. Internal genitalia. Pap smear. Vaginal inspection. Exam of pelvic organs. Rectovaginal exam. Estimating pelvic size. Type. Measurements. Diagonal conjugate. Ischial tuberosity diameter. 
Estimating pelvic size. Type. Measurements. Diagonal conjugate. Ischial tubercity diameter. Types of pelvises. Laboratory assessment. Blood serum studies. Urinalysis. Tuberculosis screening. Ultrasonography. Blood serum studies. CBC, genetic screen. Serologic test for syphilis. Blood typing and Rh factor. Maternal serum for AFP and PAPE, cultures for chlamydia and gonorrhea. Indirect Coombs test. Serum antibody titers. HIV screening. Glucose challenge test. Nursing diagnoses, prenatal health assessment, health-seeking behaviors related to guidelines for nutrition and activity during pregnancy. Deficient knowledge regarding exposure to teratogens during pregnancy. Health-seeking behaviors related to strong cultural desire to have a healthy child. Risk for injury to fetus related to lifestyle choices. Implementing care during pregnancy, danger signs to report during pregnancy. Vaginal bleeding. Persistent vomiting. Chills and fever. Escape of fluid from the vagina. Abdominal or chest pain. Swelling of face and fingers. Danger signs to report during pregnancy. Vision changes or continuous headache. Rhythmic cramping. Burning with urination. Pronounced decrease in fetal movement. Uterine contractions before 37 weeks of pregnancy. Question 1. A woman's diagonal conjugate measurement is 10.5 cm. You would interpret that her pelvis is which of the following? Adequate for childbearing. Narrow anterior posterior. Narrow transversely. Larger than normal. Answer 1. B. Narrow anterior posterior. Rationale, a typical diagonal conjugate measurement is 12.5 cm. Question 2. Which of the following suggestions would be the best technique to help a patient relax during a pelvic examination? Bear down as if you have to move your bowels. Take a deep breath and hold it. Count backward from 20 at a steady pace. Tense your abdominal muscles so the uterus contracts less. Answer 2. C. Count backward from 20 at a steady pace. Rationale. Tensing abdominal muscles can make a pelvic exam painful. Suggesting a method to aid relaxation can reduce discomfort. 